What is up, everybody? And uh, welcome back to this uh, let's play of um, UFC Undisputed 3. Um, right now, it'll be my uh, first fight. And uh, hopefully, I'll do good. <laughs> and um, basically, what I'm going for is a kickboxing punk. So, you know, hopefully, everything will be good. Hopefully I whooped this dude's ass. I haven't played in a uh, couple days, so. Uh, fight was in the WEC. Uh, I was in, against Carlton Jones, kind of a local guy there in, in the Moore, California. He was a striker, so uh, you know I was a pure wrestler at the time. So obviously my goal was to get him to the ground. Uh, I, was, I was fortunate enough to get him up against the cage right away, and then he hit me with an elbow. And and uh, I remember seeing stars and. And, uh, you know, the first thing that went through my head was, you know, this, this stuff's for real. Uh, you better get him to the ground now. And, uh, you know, I ended up getting him to the ground and uh, uh, getting him to tap out due to strikes from ground to ground. Hmm. All right, so uh, hopefully I can get this stuff going. And, uh... This is the event card screen. Here you can view the other fights that are scheduled to the event you're on. You can watch the other fights on the card by selecting Event Start, or even simulate your fight by selecting the Simulate option. If you want to skip right ahead and compete in your fight, select the My Fight option. Go ahead and do that now, and good luck in your fight. Alrighty, well, uh, hopefully I can beat this guy, and hopefully I don't do anything stupid. And, uh, I don't know what I'm going to do after the fight, even if I win or lose, I don't know what I'm going to do. But, uh, just probably do some, like, training and stuff. And, um, if you haven't noticed yet, um, I've got a Blue Yeti. <laughs> yeah. Pretty good mic. Yeah, I like it a whole lot. You know, I was tired of the, uh, just a little mic that comes on your headphones. I'm tired of, like, the, uh, fuzziness and you can hear your breathing and everything. So, uh, yeah. Probably not gonna be talking a whole lot, just trying to focus and stuff. Oh, what the fuck was that? Sorry if you can hear my Xbox controller as well. I don't know. See how I kind of do things in here is like get him on the ground, beat his ass a little bit, and then, you know, try to do the stuff on top. Or just, you know, just all standing up. Because, like, I feel like I swing way too wild. And I, you know, definitely will lose because that's how I usually am. And then I get too cocky and then, wow, I'm losing a lot of energy. All right, let's get him up. Alright, well, uh, 
Let's not get too cocky now. Let's uh think what I need to do. Seems like everything's going alright so far. I'm not gonna jinx myself, so That's pretty cool and little uh, thing they added in. Hmm. It's pretty neat. I actually like this game a lot because um, it's a lot more fluid than the other games as far as the punches and stuff. You know, it seems more, I say realistic. I'm not saying I know everything about fighting. Now, that was a pretty cool looking kick that I did. this you gotta fight your fight. Ready, sir. You ready? let's see if he's gonna touch gloves again fight. all right not let's get back on his ass get on boom 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 mm, mm, mm. We rocked him once to see if we can get him. Woo! Knocked his ass out. There we go. First win, y'all. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. Hell yeah. Nick Leroy. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. Boom. 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 Knock him out one punch. Two punches, never mind. I don't know if that was one punch or two punch. Let's see. Let's see if he's unconscious on this first punch. Uh, nope. Second punch would have did it, maybe. Pop. Boom. Whoa, knocked him out. All right. That's kind of how my uh, thing's going to be going. I'm not much of a submissioner. So, uh, you yeah. know. The winner. I'm digging that tattoo. American flag. <laughs> Dang, 100% damage on the head. That's what I'm talking about. See, that's the thing. You need a kick not just punch would you like to generate a smart highlight reel based on the fight okay. Okay. see the post fight breakdown screen. here you'll see how much cred you've earned for the fight and how each victory or defeat affected your rankings in the division with each win comes more popularity and the more popular your fighter the more sponsors you'll attract wearing sponsors allows you to gain additional cred from your fights and will help fund your fighters development so keep performing well my friend and the sky's the limit How'd my ranking go down to 26? Wow. I'm digging the little uh, videos they do. to a UFC championship began in high school when he joined the wrestling team at Endicott Union in upstate New York. Wrestling gave me a lot of self-confidence. It was my first uh, thing that I can really um, identify with. It was me. I became a New York State champ my senior year to 
uh, fourth place at the Senior National Championships. Two years later, John began studying MMA, making his debut at age 20. In three months, he scored six wins, five knockouts, and a submission. I was going through fights left and right, um, first round knockouts, first round TKOs. By the time people were starting to realize, hey, this kid is, is kicking people's butts, uh, the UFC found me, and, and, uh, and that's why I really got to get on the big stage. Alrighty, I think we have at least one training thing to go through. Let's see, schedule fight. Alright, let's pick someone. They all look the same. Ooh, it's got a... Let's see, let's see, let's see. Age 25, where's the ranking at? 24, 20... 9, 25. For right now, I'm going to go with the people that are the less rank. 13, 3, 8, and 2, 10, and 1, 9, and 4, and 10, and 1. I don't know. This guy has a 23 ranking. Main event. Well, I'm going to pick him. Alrighty. So, uh,. Simulate. Simulate. And simulate. Now that you've scheduled your next fight, let's take a look at training with camps and camp sessions. Throughout your career, you'll be able to join famous training camps from all over the world and train with top MMA coaches and fighters to learn new moves or enhance the moves you already know. First, select the camp you'd like to train with. Training with camps costs cred, but don't worry. The cred cost will be deducted from your fight purse and will not come out of your pocket until after your next fight. Each camp has its own strengths as well as offers different moves for you to learn. A description of each camp and the types of moves it offers can be found in the window above. You'll also notice some of the UFC fighters who train out of the camp who you'll get to train with to expand your fighter's abilities. Take a look at the camps and choose a camp to train with now. Alrighty, well, um, let's do AKA just... When you choose oh. to train with a camp, you'll have the ability to either learn new moves or level up moves you already know. There are three levels of experience for each move, and leveling up your moves will make them stronger, faster, or more powerful. Try to level up your go-to moves if you really want to be successful. For now, let's select a... A new move. I already learned. This is the move selection screen. On this screen, you'll notice. Right, well, basically, we know that basically it's gonna be these moves. Um, let's see, what do I want to learn? Left head kick. Let's do that. Let's see, select play style. I'll just do manual. Already hitting the 14 minute mark, y'all. Let's see if I can get this done before it. And if not, then pretty sure that you'll know that uh, I would get the move. Pretty much got it, I think. So, uh, let's see. Alright, well, I got the kit going. This is the camp session results screen. Alright, so 